All right, so we're at Aria, and uh, we are at the end of the hallway, one hallway, facing east across the strip on the 23rd floor, and we're going to take a look at what's billed as an Aria Corner Suite. Now this suite that I'm in is not quite at the end of the hall. A couple of doors down. And this is a long hallway. Alright, so here we are at 23118. So there's a few different layouts obviously of the corner suite. The building is very strangely shaped. Gives them a lot of corner suites. So you come in, you've got this credenza thing here. As you walk in, those are not drawers. They don't open. So immediately to the right of that, you've got the bathroom with the neon looking window, the half bath. In this particular suite, you then come into the living room. You've got your non-wet bar on the left. You have a full mini fridge on one side and a mini bar on the other, which I won't open. You have a decent amount of room for a table and chairs here. And then you've got your sofa, coffee table, ottoman, your work table, uh, which includes a couple of drawers, the TV, um, and you've got this console here, which is not quite as simple as it should be, but uh, you're going to have to figure that out on your own. Um, this is the view from this particular suite. It's basically looking due south out this window at Monte Carlo. But I'm not exactly where I thought I would be because this is basically the other half of Aria that I'm looking up at. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and shut off the, wind, the uh, lights here. Forgive me that. So as you come out of the living room in this particular suite, there's a frosted door, sliding door that separates the bedroom from the living room. It's lockable from inside. So you come into the bedroom and you've got the same view on one side which is basically due south down the strip and then on the other wall you're looking across the strip up to Planet Hollywood and Paris I guess that is and you also get another corner of Aria so if we turn back towards the actual bedroom itself. It's a nice standard king bed. TV's at an angle. Um, I've seen other floor layouts where the TV's opposite the bed. Decent amount of closet space. Standard ironing board, standard safe, does fit a laptop. And then you come down a really short hallway. That lamp doesn't work, minus five points. Into the bathroom, which shares a wall. The frosted glass in the bathroom, which we all know about the bidet. 
this particular suite has the his and her sinks, not in the kind of diagonal layout, but side by side. The sinks are shallow, so they do get the splashing effect. Does splash everywhere. Okay. Jetted tub, and then again you're looking out across the strip, up and down the strip. Be interesting to take a time lapse of this uh, as darkness settles in.